Hi, I'm here today with Sebastian Malaby, author of More Money Than God. Hi, Sebastian. Thanks for talking to us today. Um, listening to your speech earlier, um, you talked about regulation. Um, seems like there's a, um, you know, a lot of red tape for hedge fund managers. Can you just you know, explain a bit more about the impact this has on the hedge fund industry? I think the main thing is the impact on the world. I mean, you had an illustration in 2008 that too big to fail financial institutions can be toxic for the whole world economy. Hedge funds are not too big to fail. They are small enough to fail. They're the one right. kind of institution that didn't get a bailout uh, in the 2008 crisis. Yeah. And so I think you know regulators should be in favor of hedge funds, not against them. Should be empowering hedge funds, not putting obstacles in their way. Sure. Um, it seems like um, investors are placing a lot of pressure on hedge funds when it comes to transparency and governance. Do you think they lack education and are their demands maybe a bit unfair? Well, I think it's natural for investors to know what's happening to their money. It's their money, after all. But there is a slight danger is that, you know, rather like with regulation, mm. the more investors put demands, the more the hedge funds have to spend effort and time on back office reporting and all that stuff, yep. calculating VAR metrics that they may actually not believe in for their own purposes. Yep. Uh, and, and that distracts from the business of actually generating alpha. Sure. And what sort of lessons can we learn from history? What, you know, what can hedge fund managers take away from past events? Well, I think, you know, uh, the immense volatility in terms of who's up and who's down is fascinating. You get guys like Michael Steinhardt, who in 1994 was one of the top three hedge fund managers in the world. All of a sudden, he's down 35% in a matter of a few months. And the next day, he closes. So he goes from sort of top of the heap to the bottom uh, remarkably quickly. And that's a recurring story that yeah. people are up, people are down. You know, John Paulson has just lost a lot of money, having done incredibly well for the preceding three or four years. That's in the nature of the business. Sure. Uh, and so I think it's the kind of the need for constant focus. That's the of main course, lesson. Yes. Well, I look forward to reading your book and thanks so much for your time. Thanks. Thank you. Nice to see you.